Hey everybody, we wanted to bring you some conditioning workout that we did on the rope machine. Yeah, and the conditioning workout that we're going to show you today is pretty similar to a lot of the workouts that we do in general. However, this is just specifically focused on the row and we don't do any other movements. Yeah, so a lot of people probably relate it to high intensity interval training where you work as much as you can for a short amount of time and then you rest it a little bit. Um, so this, for this one we did uh, 10 calorie row for him, seven calorie row for me, yep. and then did 30 seconds of rest. And we did that 12 times? Uh, 10 or 12 times, I'm not sure. We'll have to watch the video to figure that out. The beautiful part about interval training compared to steady state is that you're giving a lot of effort for a short amount of time and then you're utilizing that rest to regain your breath however your heart rate is still risen through that so even though you're not working you're still burning more in that period than you would just doing steady state so even though this uh, conditioning video took us 10 minutes to do uh, we really only worked maybe, what, five minutes total throughout this whole exercise. So as opposed to getting on the treadmill for 20 minutes and walking at an incline, we were able to get on uh, the row machines, knock out the workout, and probably get more out of it. Yeah, so we can also keep track of the number of calories we burn on those high intensity parts but then our bodies are still burning while we're resting. And then we just get right back into it. So it's gonna help us long-term with endurance um, and also with that explosive energy and being able to um, really push us ourselves to our limits because we did this at the end of a workout. So it's gonna help us when we're running in the future, um, when we're doing burpees or biking or anything like that. It's really gonna help our uh, cardiovascular um, health. And there's many different ways you can do this interval. I know we did it for the calorie, but you can do a distance so you can do a time. It's just about finding that benchmark number to hit at the end of each round so that way you're truly giving it all and you're pushing yourself. Yeah, so when you start out, if you want to start with a minute rest, you know, go for however many calories or seconds and start with a minute rest in between just to really gauge um, the amount of recovery time you need, then go ahead and do that. Um, but we've gotten to a point where we can rest for 30 seconds and be ready for the next one. It's always about challenging yourself so make sure you are constantly switching it up so that way your body doesn't get used to it. As always, we hope you enjoyed this week's edition of Couples Workout. Make sure to like the video, comment, subscribe. We appreciate your support. Never taking whatever you told me. I know what I could be. Every emotion paint a full answer. Tell me, is this what you made me?
That was fun. That was fun. Yeah, Want to do a couple more intervals? No luck needed. Hard work. <laughs>